Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm checking out the energy for this weekend. Um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you, I love you, I love you, Cancer. You guys rock. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everybody new here. Welcome. All right, so Cancer, I'm being led to use the flash deck, deck tonight. What is this? Oh, Cancer. Cancer, okay, so somebody is, is coming towards you. I, I feel like they're telling everybody how they feel about you. Um, they're revealing the truth. This is something that they've kept hidden okay from everyone and now they're finally confessing to they're confessing to someone i feel like they're telling everybody um that they're coming towards you now i did have money and abundance on the bottom of the deck so you may be extremely abundant so be aware this could very well be a cloud chaser i feel like um this is somebody you haven't been speaking to for a really long time it's also somebody that you've made a definite decision about. Okay, this is somebody that you have decided to cut off. Someone from your past and um, that you feel cannot come back in. Okay, and you're standing firm on that. This is the two of swords in reverse. You're not going to change your mind about this. I feel like you, um, you're you firm about it because this person has lied to you, betrayed you in the past, um, kept things hidden from you as well, okay? This person could have even put the blame on you um, with whatever happened um, between you. They could have like used you as a scapegoat. And you're like, I am so sick and tired of dealing with this situation. <laughs> yeah, I, and I feel like you're, you're just tired of being betrayed by everybody that you give love to. It feels like... It feels like none of the people that you um, have given love to in the past, they've, they've, none of them have been loyal to you or, or they've all betrayed you or backstabbed you somehow or lied to you, okay? And I feel like now you're in this independent energy, right, with this cat. And you're good all on your own. You may not even be interested in having any kind of love situation or... If you are interested in love, you're hoping for someone new that isn't going to screw you over, okay? Somebody who, yeah, somebody that you can actually get along with. Somebody with mutual respect and consideration. Someone who's going to be honest with you, okay? And I feel like you do have new love coming in. This is like a two of cups in this deck, okay? So you have a new soulmate coming in or you're manifesting one right now. Um, but you can also sense that this person from your past wants to come back around. And I just feel like you're fed up and you don't trust them anymore because you see this person now as somebody who just goes after wherever they think the grass is greener. And they may see you having some kind of success being being in a lot of abundance, making good money, and um, you're I feel like you're gonna want to protect everything that you've created, you know. So yeah, I I feel like this person they are coming forward, but you know I'm also seeing are they gonna tell you the whole truth? They're telling other people that they're coming towards you, but that doesn't mean they're gonna tell you the truth about what they've been doing. In separation okay because this is all about lies or misleading information keeping things out hiding certain things okay and I just feel like you can't trust this person yeah and you're just tired of this you're tired you know this is um, it's becoming boring for you <laughs> Like you got, yeah, you're like, when am I going to get this new perfect love? Here's the thing. I feel like some of you are like, I'm good all on my own. But, but if you did get a new love partner, you would want it to be like this. Okay. Like I said, someone with mutual respect and consideration, someone you can grow with, someone you can plan a future with, someone who's going to have your back. 
right? Someone who's going to be devoted to you and loyal to your connection. I feel like, yeah, what you want is an emperor. That's what this is. What you want is an emperor. And um, I'm feeling that you're already in empress energy. So, yep, you want a power couple. And Cancer, I feel like you're manifesting that. I feel like you've got new love coming in. You, you're, you are about to get an emperor. Because you have made a decision to choose something that's better for you, for your future. Okay, you've made that judgment call, like, and it's strong. It's coming in strong. So, um, yeah, you're not backing down. You're not giving in. Okay, but this, this masculine from your past, they're about to come forward, and I feel like you're going to end up rejecting this person. But what goes around comes back around. Okay, because I feel like that's kind of what they did with you. And now you're going to get a chance to tell them, no, I feel like that's, um, I feel like that's what you want to do, but take it how it resonates with you. Okay. Maybe some of you would give this person another chance, but I am seeing here that they, uh, there's been lies. There's been betrayal. There's been secrets and lies here. You know, this person may have other options that they're going to be hiding behind the scenes as well. Okay, and they're going to get angry when you say no. If you say no to this person, I feel like they're going to get aggressive. They're going to get a bit pushy, like um, <sighs> demanding. They're going to be demanding. They may even feel very possessive. Okay, when you tell this person no, because see, if they get with you, you can give them a beautiful wish fulfilled life. They're feeling like if they get with you, now remember, they've got their eye on your money and your success. And they're thinking if they get with you, they can have pretty much whatever kind of life they want in the future. And they know this. I feel like you're on a golden path, Cancer, and this person can see it. Okay, so they're going to be big mad. They're going to really kind of fight with you for this. I don't know. I feel like this person is going to get a bit aggressive because they want this wish fulfilled life so bad. You know, but it's it's leading me to think like I'm not I'm seeing that they want this wish fulfillment. Um and I know that it has something to do with your abundance, but I'm not seeing any love out here on in your reading. No love. Okay, just uh, just um, hoping that you will give them the kind of life that they're dreaming of having. So I feel like this person is a clout chaser. I feel like they're selfish as well. And I feel like they're going to be coming in lying to you or keeping all of the truth. Like they're not going to tell you the whole truth. So beware of this person that's coming back around cancer. And just know this. You've already made a decision that if if you're going to get new love, it's going to be an emperor. And this person is no emperor. They're not coming through as an emperor. They're coming through as more like, more like a, a, a knight of wands or a page of wands. All right, what else can you show me? Yeah, they're going to tell you they want to make it permanent here, but this is like... Uh, what's that song? Hot Girl Bummer. Like, I, I just, I feel like um, they're going to say they want it permanent. But I'm just feeling like in less than a year's time, something will go wrong with this because they're not being real with you. Yeah, dread. Dread. This person listens to other people as well, or what I'm picking up on is this this is somebody who doesn't like to be alone. They never want to be alone. They always want to be chasing after someone. This is also somebody who likes that excitement of newness in a relationship. They like that. They like that exciting feeling when you first meet someone and you first start dating them, okay? But then once that feeling is 
is you know has played its part once once that's over right then this person goes on to the next thing or they go back to somebody from their past i feel like that's they want you to be like at the home front while they are in and out they're going to tell you they they may tell you they want this to be permanent but this person even though they may um they may commit to you in the future this is somebody who doesn't plan on being loyal you know they'll give you a marriage if that's really what you want if that's what it takes for them to get this comfortable life with you but that doesn't mean they're going to be loyal i'm seeing nothing about loyalty here i'm not seeing anything about love here either i'm seeing this person planning things out strategically promising you forever promising a, a commitment saying okay okay let's get married i'll prove it let's get married right but they look someone saying they want to marry you and some and that person being loyal to you are two totally different things they don't plan on being loyal but they want um they want a sure chance at you know like they want this ten of cups to be a sure thing so they're willing to say and promise whatever they can to get you to take them back because if you take them back on the route that you're on i feel like you're you're headed towards success you're you could even have some possible fame and you 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 will be making a lot of money in the future and they see that okay and they know that you'll like take care of them they know how you love and they're they're going to want to take advantage of that all right they're going to want to take advantage of that you could they, they would have a comfortable life at your side they would but that doesn't mean that they really want to be loyal to you because this feeling of dread when they make you this promise, I know this person doesn't plan on being loyal. They know they can't. I feel like this person is just kind of a player or they, they, they hop from one person to the next. That, like I said, once that, um, once that excitement, you know, that... Um, that newness of a relationship, once that phase wears off, this person is on to something else. It's like they get bored or something. You know, you're closing the book on this. I, you've already gotten all the answers you need about this person, Cancer. And you know what? Just trust your intuition because I feel like you're absolutely right. Uh, I'm also, as I'm holding this card... I'm picking up on if this person hops from one person to the next, they may have gotten someone pregnant. That could be one of the things that they want to hide from you is a pregnancy, a recent one, okay, that they like may have just recently found out about. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel like they're they're angry. They're going to be really angry when you say no, you know, when you turn this person down because they're going to be trying to like they're going to argue with you. They're going to fight with you. They're going to whine. They're going to beg. They're going to go back to arguing again. This person's going to get pushy and aggressive because being with you is like is like having the golden ticket. Okay? Being with you is like having the golden ticket, and this person is going to really fight to get you back, but not for the right reasons. All right? Not for the right reasons, Cancer. So beware of this person, okay? And they have nothing to offer you. Yeah, look, because this person is broke. They're broke. And if they fix it with you, it's for financial reasons and the, and the things that you have to offer this person, okay? And it will be a temporary fix, okay? It'll be temporary because they'll, be, they'll lose that excitement after a while. They'll go looking for that exciting feeling and they'll keep doing it. 
So you can't trust this person, Cancer, okay? I'm so sorry to have to tell you that. And this isn't going to be for all of you. This is not everybody's person. So please use your discernment when it comes to when it comes to this reading, but this is somebody you can't trust. And you know what spirit is saying, you've got someone new coming in. Now this is emperor energy. This is masculine energy. And you've got somebody coming in. It's it's right around the corner, okay? This new person is coming in fast because you're ready and you've made a firm decision. Yeah. Yeah, and this new person <laughs> is going to make you really super happy. Okay, this is somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated to this connection right out the gate. Okay, this could be a Leo. I don't know why I'm feeling Leo energy, but I feel like that's that take charge energy. Okay, like this is somebody who's going to kind of take charge, <laughs> which is very sexy. Like, I just feel like you're going to be happy together. Happy, happy. Okay, and this is a wish fulfilled. So if you've been manifesting new love, that's this person coming in. That's new. All right. So yeah, you have a new masculine energy. Could possibly be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, but... This is somebody who's just going to go for it. Once they meet you, they're going to know what it is that they want right away. Okay? So, yeah, get ready, Cancer. You've got new love. Um, get ready for this. Um, this is going to be a talk that you have with this person from your past. And I feel like, honestly, what I'm feeling is you already know you can't trust this person. Okay? It's one of those things where if their lips are moving, they're lying. Okay, that's, that's the kind of person this is. I feel like that's what they did to you in the past, and now they're coming back around for a second round, like they're going to just do it again. But now there's more at stake this time, because you're, in, um, you're on a glow up. You're getting blessings, and this person can see it. So what's at stake is this beautiful, this beautiful future, a beautiful future with you where they don't have to work or nothing. Okay? They want you to be their sugar mama, sugar daddy. All right? That's what's at stake. So this person is going to be really fighting for this. All right? So get ready. Get ready for that. Like, for real. Prepare yourself for that. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.